Hey everyone, D-Dub Squizzy here, and welcome back to Sword Flight. Oh man, alright. We're finally back at camp. Okay, um... Hand over to that. Yeah, that'll do for now. Uh, alright, you've been gone a long time, I was starting to get concerned. How are you coming from the direction of the desert? Magical door slam shut, trapping the ruins, and I find another exit circle around. Um, obviously we proved able to handle it. It wasn't, wasn't quite that simple. Uh, yeah, I'm sure that... Yeah, all that she exists for is to be a mule. She's just loud about it. Elaborate magical traps are, of course, an all-too-common hazard. Exploring ancient ruins have had a nasty few experiences with such things, such things myself. Wouldn't say it was easy. Important thing to keep in mind right now is you find an alternate... Uh, root into the ruins means even if that door you mentioned is still down, nothing to stop you from continuing your exploration. Uh, you know, I guess so. I uh, found a door with a lot of indecipherable writing on it. Seems to be some sort of puzzle needs to be solved. Hoping you might be able to translate it. Here's a copy. You can translate this in kind of the same ancient language another ruin I was exploring. Give me a minute. Puzzle consists of a number of questions about a master who apparently wants to roll these ruins, which several possible responses need to pick the correct one. Alright, follows fails, suppose you take advantage of the limited number of responses, keep trying until you find the correct one by process of elimination. It seems possible this master's still around in an undead state. Dealt with everything you've encountered so far, if there's indeed a sort of undead ruler about, it's supposed to be so much more powerful than his followers. Yeah, that's not entirely how that usually works. There's some risk involved, that was understood from the beginning, what sort of venture would let that stop? Might be more eager, my compensation. Oh, cool. 500 gold, that's pretty nice. Yeah, we'll keep going. Alright, found an artifact. Here's a helmet. Um, mask. Brooch. Bowl. Weapon. Oh uh, yeah, you could heal us real quick. I think that she's actually level drained and whatnot, so that probably helps a lot more there. Alright. And now... I've already forgotten. Do I put points in lore? I do. Stinking cloud. 60% damage reduction, that's pretty big. So plus one fire sickle. Plus one fire scimitar. These ones are tainted, not rusted. That would explain the more higher degree of difficulty with identifying them. Right, okay. Let's see about getting these things sold. I'm glad... Oh, that's the portal stone. I don't need that. I'm glad that, uh... Sword Flight as well gets rid of that stupid thing in the regular game. Where traps all count as stolen items for reasons. And because of that... You're not able to sell them to most people. Like, they, they got rid of that. Uh... I'll probably give that to her at some point. We'll see what's about to go down. Right, I looked up Blade Thirst as well. Apparently, it's a ranger spell. And it makes a weapon plus three, pretty much, for two rounds a level, which... Uh, Blade Thirst level 12, so six rounds of plus three, but it only works on slashing weapons, I think.
Is he running out of money? No. Okay. I saw something else. Um. Only works on slashing weapons. And, and that's basically it. It's just plus three. Which is alright. I mean, it's nothing super great or valuable or anything like that. Um, I could see some use for it at times. Though probably not within this module. My current weapon... Well, maybe. We'll see. in here for the time being. Don't know which ones of those stack, which ones don't. Plus one arrows aren't that big a deal anyway, so I'm just gonna throw them all out. I can retain those for right now. that letter, just like the others. Translation. Shouldn't need that sickle. And, yeah, honestly, I think whatever this thing could be used for, this one's probably better at anyway. Your turn. At least the tainted stuff is worth something. I guess I could have given one of those magic weapons to her, huh? Yep, yeah, didn't think she could use those. up here. Get rid of that. I will hold on to that. I'm not buying that stupid thing back again. I forgot. I accidentally sold it. Don't care. Okay. Here's this and that for the time being. That should be everything from her. Okay. So I have 10,000. I don't have anything else I need to buy from you. Anything of prime importance. Let's restock healing. I'm still okay on it. There you go. Alright, that'll be good for now. Um, yeah, I don't have any outstanding anything else there. Okay, so there's two things I want to do before we really head back to the door and continue further into the ruins. I believe if I go to the ruins immediately... Yeah, there's a couple more on dead to kill. I think these guys respawn a limited number of times, although I'm not certain of that. Missing so much. It says it's plus two versus undead, and yet for some reason it gets the same attack bonus versus undead that it does against normal things. Oh, because of her bonus. I 
Okay, it is plus nine that it gives me, though. Yeah. I could go check the door, but it is still locked and it does not come back up. But yeah, if you feel like killing a couple more ghouls, there's a, there's a couple down there. Alright, so I have... I, I want to kill that flesh golem, or at least try it. Which means I should probably stock up on some good stuff before heading back in. Okay. So potion-wise... I think anything he's got, I already have a version of. Not freedom, but... Freedom's not super helpful in that matter anyway. I'd take one potion of aid. I could, I could use that. Now, as far as scrolls go, don't need an ultra vision. Bark skin. I can do a type of bark skin. Entangle and sleep will be useless on that thing. Maybe not entangle. I have entangle, so I can deploy that. Um, some cure spells. No. Death armors. Dispel. Okay, so yeah, he doesn't have anything of prime importance there. Unless there's summoning, useless. Just a wand. That's a wand of lightning. Okay. Now, if Blade Thirst. I'll test before I engage it. If Blade Thirst makes my axe capable of just harming it, because I, if I remember right, plus one weapons don't go through that thing's damage resistance, um, which means I'd be relying on elemental damage. So what my fight would really be is holding out for as long as possible. A monk. Hello, buddy. Man's robes and shaved head indicate he's a monk. Does not appear to belong to any order you're familiar with. Last I found the child of air before any of my brethren, the honor shall be mine alone. Uh, yeah, what are you talking about? Servant of the Consuming Fire. Doubtless this means nothing to you now, but soon many shall know the great works. The fire shall purify the world. Order, old order shall be burned down, so the new order may arise. When searching for your companion, the child of error attractor here, none of my brethren were able to cross the desert. In our task, it only proves that I alone is worthy of it. I have been assigned begins with you. You must be cleansed with destroying flames as part of the preparation of the new order. You're going to kill me? What does any of this fire and new order business have to do with me? You'll be an obstacle. Anyone or anything interferes must be burned down. Um, you're an enemy not deserving of any answers. I would speak to your companion. You would speak to me? You announce you plan to kill us? Never said I plan to kill you. Spoke in the first place rather than attacking because I'm only here to slay the child of air. There's no reason why you must die as well. I think I'm just going to attack you before you have a chance to think anything else through. There we go. Ow. Oh, come on now. Pointing in a weird direction. Don't know what that's about. Gonna have a tough time hitting the monk with arrows, or not arrows, but any ranged weapons every time. Upon his death, he bursts into flames, destroying anything he might have been carrying. Okay, well, let's head back and rest again. Replenish everything. Counter to the, yeah. So that's pretty much. That'd be why I was conscripted to defend her. Things like that. Fortunately, the only things that thing that has come for her so far has been completely useless. 
I mean, he managed to kill me once, I guess. So he's as useless as I am, but I'm only level 4, so I am kind of useless. Gonna make us walk all the way back, isn't it? see what you have. Okay. Yeah, so those are useless now. I'll pick up these. My constitution is a 14. These are only plus one, so they won't make a difference. That's deflection. So that's an extra point. Have any spells I can make good use of? No, my spell selection is real limited. I'll take a ring of resistance. Cool, they do stack. I wasn't sure. Just drop this in there. Alright, now that that's done, purchase all I need from you. Undead state defies the natural order, so I must now destroy you. And I'm assuming he dropped nothing. Yeah, alright. Undead like to fill out the areas we clear behind us, so we should definitely keep our eyes open for more of them. Hey, <laughs> be funny if those bones got back up again. Ooh! There's another one in here, isn't there? Go charging at that thing. Gas are gnarly. There he is, I knew it. Of course, she's the one that manages to hit it. Can you attack something else? You are doing more harm than good. Now that's a weird bug I've encountered a number of times while playing. Someone will be in the middle of casting, and then they will randomly stop. It's real frustrating. He just got a sneak attack in, even though he was the one I was attacking, because the game forced me to attack someone else. Things like that annoy me. This is even with a couple extra points in defense.
I prefer not to use undead wards that way. I can't be level drained for that long. Okay, there's a spectral sorcerer. I thought Fortitude was the one save I was good at. Somehow that didn't prompt an attack of opportunity either. to die. Can we finish this, please? There we are. She just wasted a charge of that thing. I knew I shouldn't have given it to her yet. That's no big deal. It's got like 20 charges, right? 35. Wait, how many can it fire? Each one uses five. Okay, so it's got seven more shots in it. I don't even know if it can hurt the Flesh Golem, which is the only one I'm truly worried about. There's, there's actually another pretty significant fight a little later, but uh, she's not going to be able to help with that thing. Because the things that are down there, I'm certain have top-notch resistances to electricity. So it's going to be testing time here. I need to figure out exactly what the parameters of this thing are. If a plus three weapon, we won't even deal full damage to it for some reason. First I need to see... Okay, so yes, it absorbs damage off of that. And it's probably going to kill us real quick, but might as well play it out. Who knows? I think the reason they bring a fire elemental in here and have given us three items so far that have dealt little fire damage is specifically to show you what it is that hurts this thing. So that's what you should focus on. 11 is its bonus, so yeah, it does not have to roll that great to hit you. And it can deal a ton of damage. Okay, so now, if I... Dang it, I just quick saved. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, it just was immune to that. Okay, that one will hurt it.
Okay, stop that. You're, you're wasting that thing. It's not even hurting it. It's at least worth something to me. There we go. Okay, so yeah, Blight Thirst, pretty handy. There we go. If you're somehow capable of killing that thing before advancing a little farther, you can get one of those uh, anti-negative energy charms first, and that way the first one of those three orbs that you destroy, you're already protected against. I believe when I played through with my cleric, I was able to kill it early. I had all my buffs on, and while most of them didn't make a huge deal, I think by that point I had enough... Now, I was only level three, so... I only had the regular enchanted weapon. But what I did have was Divine Favor, I believe it is, that gives you some extra magic damage. I was able to compound that with something else, if I remember right. No, I'm not certain. I may have just cast Defense Against Negative Energy to deal with the orbs right off the bat. Used the magic weapon, buffed it, and killed the thing. But I recall killing it a little easier with that character. With my first one, my paladin that I played through this place with, he just kind of sat there with that scimitar, beating it with as much armor class as he could muster, while mainly relying on her doing negative damage. Which I suppose I should probably keep her equipped with. At least it's it's something. Alright, so now we get to answer the questions. Why is it really known as the Master? Rules us like a benevolent schoolmaster, so he can only to educate us, bring us enlightenment. Yeah, all propaganda answers. Um, what does the Master desire for his followers? They live in peace and freedom, free from invaders and the fear of death. How does the Master reward them? Uh, blesses them with eternal life. Apparently that was the expected answer. How does the Master punish his enemies? The Master is too kind and merciful to punish anyone. Bless even his enemies with eternal life. Alright. No, not Druid. Going up as Barbarian this time. No feats. Decent chunk of... Uh, HP, though, and some extra base attack. Okay. So there's some gnarly things in here. So this is not ideal, because mummies can fear us. I'm going to hope for the best. I don't have great saves. Alright, but they've worked so far. Cool. I have a little fire damage, which helps. Mummies just by default absorb most physical damage. Well, not most, but some physical damage. Negative energy, I feel like it really should not hurt these things. If you ever cast a harming spell on an undead, it doesn't hurt them. Okay, no, actually hit the white. The white seems to be hitting more consistently. There, and he's an easier kill, which is the real reason. I'm glad that I made my saves against their fears. I would not want to have to use a Potion of Clarity just to deal with these two, because there are other mummies down here. And these are the reason I said her lightning would be useless. Mummies are as close as it gets to just being completely immune to that. Now she leveled up too, didn't she? So her Bard Song should be pretty good now. Her attack bonus is plus eight? Well, I guess that's pretty standard, huh? 
It's not as good as mine. I thought that she didn't get much of any with that thing. That's a little better than I thought it was, though. Maybe that's because of the Bard Song. I don't know anything about Bard Song advancement or progression. pieces of tainted gear, I will take it. Not that I can use it. Okay, stay there for a second. I want to see if it isn't clear these bones are going to get up and fight. I would like to deal with them with as few mummies as possible. Draw you out. No. Okay. Save. Saved. If you fail your save on a fear on one of these things, it'll last long enough that you're basically never going to get unfeared. And it gets worse, because since fear makes you run away, if it chooses not to straight up follow you and keep you within its aura, the moment the fear is off, you're going to have to make another save when you enter it again. That turns into a vicious cycle very quickly, but I think her um, singing actually helps a lot with saves at this point. They move way faster than I expect them to. draw out the last one. So that'll make my job much easier. Awesome. No. Stay out of that thing's radius because you will almost definitely fail your will save because it's terrible. Because she has no wisdom at all. Yeah, will and fortitude both go up by her song. Not reflex. I can't understand why it would improve my fortitude but not my reflex. two archers, a guardian, and a regular one. Gotcha. Okay. Mage is down, at least. Focus up on killing that guardian. He's significantly stronger than the others. As we have already learned from bitter experience.
Alright, so skeletons are all dead. I don't think any of these are trapped or locked. I'm assuming these are the, uh, the homes of those three mummies that we killed. Ramorg the Mummy Warrior. Okay, is he going to talk to me if I get too close? No. He's also not going to attack us right off the bat. We'll see about him in a second. He's the... He's an optional boss. But he's a serious handful. Well, that went well. Alright, much as I would like to beef up my axe to deal with him, I think I'm going to have to use it on, on this thing. Uh, the No, this can't use Blade Thirst on that. I would like to keep the shield equipped. I could use it on one of these. Possibly. I don't think he has that good of an armor class. Okay. Let's get some of the basics here done. Pretty sure his weapon will deal elemental damage. That lets me summon an Earth Elemental. Not a very strong one, mind you, but an Earth Elemental. I'm actually just gonna throw that in here. Those have minor use later. Okay. And now... What else can this thing do? Magic Fang, one with the land. I don't know what one with the land does yet, either. Plus three. Plus fourteen. Man, I got a really good strength roll, I think. Actually, that might not be that good. No, that's four. Yeah, that is pretty good. One more wouldn't really put me at any higher modifier, would it? No, that'd be twenty-two. Yeah, I'd be higher. Oh well. Mummy does not seem to have hostile intentions. What have we here? Adventurers plundering the ruin. I'm Ramurg. I'm the final guardian you will face before the master's chamber. Does the master still occupy? Don't have the faintest idea. Sleep in my sarcophagus for years at a time. Makes it hard to keep track of what's going on. My guess is he's gone, or else he would have kept this place in better shape, but who knows? If he isn't, you might get in trouble bothering him, but that's your problem. You aren't going to try to stop us? No, master bound me to guard his chamber. That was thousands of years ago, and the enchantment seems to have faded with time, so I'm no longer compelled to do so. As long as you don't try looting my own sarcophagus, I don't care what you do. You'll need a special key to get in. Here it is. If he keeps you from bothering me about it, why not? If you're interested in escaping your cursed state of undeath, I might be able to help. Not interested. I'm immortal now. I mean to take advantage of it. Enchantments forcing me to attack intruders have already faded. I think if I wait long enough, enchantments forcing me to stay here will fade too. Then I can go out into the world and party or something. But yeah, I don't think that's going to work. If you really want to die, I guess I can oblige you. Warn you I wasn't made the guardian, because I'm a pushover. Get him. Everyone get him. Ow. He hits hard. Okay. Retreat. Another one. Those were not good rolls. Yeah, he gets really good pluses. Hmm. 
my one real advantage over him is my speed. I am significantly faster than him. Unfortunately, I only have a couple of rounds of that axe. Alright. There goes Berserk. Okay, yeah. Then he started doing damage. This time he was determined to knock me down. Okay, he's swinging at her. Might be able to take advantage of this for a couple of whacks, maybe. Ow! Oh man, that one hurt. Four hit points? I rolled a one. Clarity's gone. Well, that didn't go well. It, it really just comes down to RNG more than anything else. better healing potions. I might have a better chance here. You should have run faster, Zerala. Then you would have evaded that effect. And then you stand still. Oh, great. He has that axe. I need that axe. Didn't I use clarity? How am I being affected by that? I did not. And I keep on doing that. There. is quick. If I can run him in circles enough, though, I have enough healing to outlive him. 
I just have to worry about him knocking me down and getting crits. Because every time he gets a crit, that's my entire health bar gone. Clarity's out. Oh, great. Yep. Oh, no. Farther. <laughs> oh, and then I just rolled terribly. Okay, fortunately so did he. And I did again. You wanna hold still for a second, actually? Attack! You attacked him! For... It, completely worthless. Man, I have just been rolling terribly. Sorry if you guys are hearing anything in the background. How did he get an attack of opportunity on me for attack of opportunity in him? Things like that are what annoy me. And then my constant twos, okay. You get three attacks around. Oh, goodness. Okay, he didn't lose track of me the way I would want him to.
No, he keeps getting the first attack of one round, the second attack, then the first again. At least that's what I think is happening. Okay, I've got him lower than I ever have before. I'm saving here. That's not going to work for me. What the... I can't hit him, but he can hit me. Okay, so I'm going to have to make this quick. <sighs> that boar is useless. Do you want to do something? I get like one chance every million years to swing and whenever I do it's just worthless. Maybe I should have been using this thing the whole time, it seems to do better damage anyway. At least it gives me a guaranteed fire and divine. gonna finish me. He can't see me. I might be able to pull this off. Maybe. gonna save because I don't know how long this thing is gonna last and if it lasts long enough that she perma dies then I'm screwed and this fear is just ages of time I wonder if that ever increases no and now that I think about it I could actually use that barbarian speed to get away from most enemies As long as they weren't faster as well, which many of them probably are. So tired of that. That random door nonsense.
Got him. Thank you for the weapon. You're useless. Even with him dead, I don't think... Yeah, literally, yeah, you can't do anything with it anyway, so it doesn't matter. But if you do not fight him right then and there and go through all that annoying dialogue and everything, um, then he goes into the sarcophagus and you can't get him back out. So that's your only chance to kill him and get that axe. But as you can see, it can be annoyingly difficult. He's not supposed to be beaten, if I'm being honest. They didn't make him overwhelmingly strong so that it was truly impossible, but definitely far beyond easy. Like the place is deserted. You know, just as well, the battle with the lich might have been too much. This is a bit anticlimactic. We've got a fancy coffin here. I expect there's some pretty good treasure inside. Don't open that. Warning Azarala comes too late as she opens the coffin. A figure leaps out as pale flesh draws back in a smile, revealing a pair of fangs. Pierce the master of the ruins is a vampire, and given the age of the ruins, must have survived for thousands of years. There is no chance you'll be able to defeat such a foe. Oh no. Hi, Master Malathar. Welcome to my home. So kind for you to wake me up. Just in time for dinner. Let's see what's on the menu. Looks like I should be feasting on half-work. Blood of the side dish of genocide. I'll go down without a fight. I must say, I do not care for your attitude. Don't seem to appreciate extraordinary honor I'm about to bestow on you. I have arranged my lair so only the most powerful and intelligent intruders get this far. Only they are worthy of immortality as a vampire. So then you're going to turn us into vampires? Normally what I do, now that I look at you more closely, I cannot imagine how... Uh, how you managed to survive this long. You're nobody, not powerful at all, not worthy of vampirism. Might make an adequate zombie servant, but hardly more. Must get around to replenishing my guards. Last adventuring party came through, must have killed some of the more powerful ones. Now being bothered by second-rate barbarians like you. Your companion is another matter. I sense some real power there. Uh, your beauty must certainly be preserved for all time. How'd you like to be my consort? Not sure I'm quite ready to never give up seeing sunlight. Uh, certainly going to grant you immortality. You'll be given no choice about that. Simply asking if you'd like to remain with me afterwards. If you, if after becoming a vampire, choose to go your own way, I will not stop you, though I truly regret such a decision. Uh, let's see if you're really tough as you seem to think. A display of bravado, poor choice for one's last words, I think. I see there are more guests arriving. Perhaps I've underestimated you. More guests. The cavalry's here. appears to be a small party of adventurers has entered the chamber, one of them an elderly man bearing symbols identifying him as a paladin of Tyr. Meet again, Malathar. Thought only to find my daughter, but chance to bring Tyr's justice to a despicable fiend like you is an added bonus. That's her dad. I'm looking for you. I tracked you all the way to Kadant's camp. He told me I should look for you in the ruins. Appears I have arrived just in time. Knew you would get yourself in trouble when you ran off and never expected it would be this bad. You've stumbled into Lair, one of the most powerful necromancers in the history of Faerun. Mother and I had a run-in with Malathar in our adventuring days. You were lucky to escape me before, Paladin, if you think you'll do better this time. <laughs> Wait, Sir Ali, your father's Paladin a tear? Doesn't sound like Cree described. They have exaggerated a few things. Not realism more powerful than all of you combined. Enough bluster vampires, I recall you did not leave our previous encounter unscathed. And the odds are more favorable for me now than they were then. I'm accompanied by some of the most powerful servants of Tyr and Calimport. And this time, we know where your coffin is. Uh, maybe I'll not be ready for this confrontation, not find me that easy to destroy. Track me to my coffin. Why don't you try finding it now? Cast the spell, and he and the coffin are gone. See, that's really bad, because normally a coffin's kind of rooted in one place. That's extra bad. He's escaped, revealed a nasty trick. Oh, kill him for good. Track him to his coffin and stake him there. Don't know how one could destroy a vampire who could teleport his coffin to safety. Problem for another day. At least we found one of his lairs, sent my followers to work clearing it of any remaining undead or lingering curses. From what Kadath told me, gather... I gather that I have you to thank for the fact that my daughter managed to survive her career as an adventurer. 
I'll be taking her home now. We will be stopping off at Cadets first. Your task of clearing this ruins can be considered complete when you return. Uh, to include whatever remaining business. You can speak to me. I will have an offer. You said you were forcing her onto a marriage. That, that's why she ran away. Try to impress her the importance of honesty. Vera may not have been as successful as I may have wished. Hold her repeatedly. I'll never force her to marry against her will. More likely to drive away some of the dubious character she tries to bring home. Troy wasn't being forced into a marriage, but he was never going to let me to be an adventurer. What else could I do if I was going to become a famous bard? I was an adventurer in my youth, certainly regarded as an honorable profession, but it's dangerous, not a life I'd choose for her. Um, doubt there's much truth in what she told you. There's only there's enough truth in it. If only you'd care about as much my safety as you did mother, or about much about mother's safety as you did mine. Not the time or place to have this discussion. I prefer not to speak of it. Think you have the right to ask. Earl's mother was a sorceress and adventurer. That's how we met. Um, quite true. She was killed in a politically motivated assassination. I've exerted whatever political influence as a noble of Kalimshan in attempts to outlaw the slave trade. I made enemies. Some hired assassins. Yeah. So Zarala blames him because he opposed slavery. As for Nut you, you'll be going home. Won't be needing that adventuring gear. Return it to him. I expect paid for most of it. Who could stand to be compensated? Alright, and now I get everything that she had on her except for her cloak and cape. Keg is filled with blood. I'll take a goblet. Now these adventurers don't really have uh, much to say. to camp. Alright, give a full account. 500 gold pieces, 150 XP, and last artifact. these tainted bolts. Plus one, ten percent of blindness for four rounds. Oh, plus one great axe, so it'll do. He doesn't have enough gold for that thing. I'm gonna hang on to these. I'll do it up here. Just in case I run into something that needs some blunt. Or maybe some undead. Skeletal undead, that'll definitely be handy against. Okay. And now I can properly replenish my healing, because I'm not fighting another mummy warrior. I'll take all of these, which I should have bought in the first place. Now 
never let me have any adventures. What will I do? Not have any adventures. I believe I mentioned I had an offer to make you. I'm impressed with what I've been told about you. Expect the caravan you were guarding destroyed and the ruins cleared. You'll be looking for work. Prepare to offer you a job on my personal guard. You'd serve as a bodyguard to me and Zarala. I'd also send you out on special missions to combat evil from time to time. If you prove as competent as I expect, you'll find the rewards quite generous. A few things I'd like to discuss with you. I found this note in a nearby Asabi cave. The caravan Arania was trying to recruit the Asabi into some kind of army of monsters. Sure, Goblinoid Rob will be no match for the army, but if they attack without warning, they might do some harm to outlying farms and villages. See the proper authorities are notified. And there's something else. Counter an assassin who tried to kill her. Heard of an order of the Consuming Fire, believe it's a new cult that's arisen in Calimport. I know little about them. I know nothing I could have done to earn their enmity. Wonder why they would strike at my daughter. Seems to be something else at work, and this might be connected. Not supposed to tell just anyone about this, but I can't trust. But if I can't trust you, I'll explain what happened in the plane of air. Find it hard to believe Cosmic Power has taken interest in Zarala despite her ancestry. Please you trust me with the information. Know some powerful clerics and mages who have had dealings with other planes. Make some discreet inquiries. See if I can learn anything that might be relevant. Is that all you wish to, disco to discuss? Yes, I'm ready to go. Second, this will export your character, save relevant data to the Sword Flight database, and end the module. Alright. Let us be on our way. Calimport awaits. There we go. So that's chapter one. Let's find... I completely forgot the name of my guy. I haven't seen it enough. Should have exported him on its own. Just a barbarian. Barbarian weapon master. Ah, here we are. Barbarian druid. Okay, so I got a quest for Rajar's hideout, because I still have that note, and then my regular quests in general. I uh, lost the translation of Strange Writing and the letter to Quirixia. thought I kept that letter. Guess not. Um, respawn, it might as well just make it difficult. I don't use the respawn anyway. Uh, let's start with the opening cutscene. He's supposed to have a sword out. This is odd. Generally, there's some music company in this particular cutscene, if I remember. And there's uh, a little bit more fighting, usually. Oh, what are you gonna do? Alright, so I'm at his estate, working as a guard. So I think I'm gonna end this one here, then. Went through a lot of saves and reloads, but especially on Ramuark. With most characters, I would've walked away. But I... I wanted this axe. It's not great, mind you, but now I don't have to buy a magical great axe, and I got tired of using a weapon that wasn't a great axe because that's what I wanted to use with this character. So I really wanted to put him down um, for that. I really just should have used the Skeleton Smasher. I think that would have worked a lot better on him. But, you know, past is the past. What are you going to do? Alright, so... That's all for this one then. Ruins are all finished, done with the first module, and now we're into the second module, and trust me, this one is a doozy. So, we'll get to this next. Um, but for all, for now, that is all. So, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.